So in this video, it's going to be a little walking video. In this video, I am going to share how I reached out to and crafted the messages for people um, that I know who are acquaintances and friends um, to see if they're in, if they'd be interested in hearing about more of our, our business, our, our new business. So, um, and this is gonna be our next step in promoting our business, Creatures of Habits, um, Creatures of Habit Health. My business partner and I, we currently are running two challenges, a 75 day program and a 45 day habit building program. And this is gonna be the next portion of that to try to get more people to sign up and become members. So the way that we're thinking about this is there are several components of marketing. So you have your first layer, which is your immediate friends and family, people who you can text and they'll get right back to you usually, and who are gonna support more or less everything that you do. And then if we go outside, that's into more of a, the larger concentric portion of the circle, the second layer, if you will. Then you have people who are maybe friends of friends, friends, but you know, it's not like your, your best, best friends. And then there's another circle beyond that where it is now people, you're starting to get people who you don't know at all, who you've never heard of. Um, and that's in your, your third layer. Then you even have a fourth layer where it's like, now you have people who are coming in from people who aren't even referrals from people that you already know. So this is uh, really, um, those are like kind of the four layers or four levels of people that you're going to be interacting with. So um, that's, that's one thing. And then to even engage these people who you don't know, it's more difficult in that third and fourth layer because you, number one, they don't know you. And if they don't know you, they can't know if they like you or not. And then they definitely are not gonna trust you, you know, from, from the get-go because most people are just skeptical of new people that they meet. And it can be challenging to build that trust, which is why I'm always, um, recommending that if you are starting a business that you have testimonials and quite a few of them and proof of results so that you can show people who are not in your immediate circle, you can show them that like, hey, um, this is working. Uh, this is why it's working. Here's who it's worked for and give it a go. Especially if things are more expensive, people are always gonna be a little bit more skeptical. But anyways, that was the long tangent. So the exact messaging that I used, and I'll pull it up on the screen here, um, was essentially, hey, so-and-so, um, hope you're doing well, hope your business is doing well, because these are mainly business owners that I knew from my previous business. Um, and I checked out kind of what they're doing and what they're working on, and included that if I saw anything interesting, just to show that, you know, I am doing a little bit more homework than just like, hey, check out my stuff. Um, and whenever I'm reaching out and sharing about a new endeavor or a new um, challenge or a new anything, when I'm trying to promote something, I always want to, um, you know, be direct and be like, hey, here's, here's what we're doing. Would love to share it with you if you've got some time. Um, or if it interests you. And I always want to give people an out too, so if they're not interested whatsoever, um, they can always feel free to ignore the text message and it, that will not be, um, that won't bother me because people are busy and sometimes what you're, what you're building is not something that they're interested in. Uh, hence why a lot of this stuff is a numbers game where you need to just reach out to enough people that you can craft your message. So. Essentially, the components are, um, hey, so-and-so, hope you're doing well. Um, 
I saw you have been doing X, that looks awesome. Um, you know, and of course, you better actually mean that or else it's not gonna come through uh, when, when you send the message or call the person. But you can then go into, hey, uh, I'll, I've also got this new business or new initiative that I'm starting with my business partner or by myself or whatever. And here's what it's about. You know, ours happens to be about building better habits. And, you know, I think that this could potentially be helpful for your team or your members. Curious to see if you're interested in this or you'd like to check it out more. I can share more information with you or we can chat over the phone, get some coffee, whatnot, you know. So very simple messaging, giving a couple options um, is always appreciated when you are making those sorts of connections um, or doing those sorts of reach outs. And, you know, you're probably gonna get a lot of favorable responses at first from the people that are in your circle already, like friends and family. They're going to be like, yeah, we'll check it out and see what it's like. And you might get a few people who will then sign up. Um, but <laughs> it gets harder when you're doing more cold outreach. Warm outreach is always um, going to be faster because the trust is already there. But cold outreach, as in you're reaching out to somebody you've never talked to before, they've never heard of you, you're a stranger, uh, stranger danger. So it's going to take a lot more time for those people, and it's going to just take a lot more reps. So like if you had a 50% success rate with people you already know, expect that to drop quite a bit. Uh, success rate can be whatever you're measuring. It can be setting a meeting or setting up a phone call or whatever. Um, so just expect your success rate to drop with that. It's just the nature of the beast. Not everybody's going to be interested or ready or whatnot to uh, either buy where you're selling or participate in what you have going on. So just be aware of that. Um, yeah, so that's the the big picture of what we are doing with that. And then so far, I, I've only sent it to like seven people so far, and I've gotten five people to respond. And again, these are people I already know um, who aren't like great friends, but they are acquaintances. Some are, I would say they're more acquaintances than anything, business uh, associates that I have worked with before. So um, pretty good response rate on that. Again, it's low, very low volume. Um, and we'll see, see what the responses uh, shake out to be and how many meetings get set and then how many people actually um, get, uh, help us get more members into our groups. So anyways, uh, that's just kind of what we're working on. And the big picture goal again is to get more people um, into our challenges and to continue to grow the business. Oh, if you haven't already watched the previous two videos, one is um, like why and what type of business we're starting. It's a pay what you can business. So uh, it'll be linked somewhere up here. So check that out. And then also um, I have another video about how we marketed the business to and completely online to get um, 20 new signups for one of our challenges and how we got our first people to actually pay us for it. So you'll definitely want to check that out. Anyways, hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Later.